So today we are going to make a tiger to represent the artist that we learned about, Henry, and his images of the jungle that he liked to draw from his imagination. So, in order to start, we're first going to put our names, which you guys have done, and then you can decide whether or not you want to do it vertical or horizontal. So go ahead, decide, and then put your paper the way you'd like it to look. We are going to draw the leaves first. So the leaves, remember what overlapping is? Yeah. Good. So overlapping means some things are in front, some things are behind. Our leaves are going to overlap the tiger. So that's why we're drawing them first. So the way I'm going to draw my leaf, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to draw a V and then I'm going to draw a line down and then a V and then a line down and then a V and then a line down. I'm going to do that all the way down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to draw a line in the middle. Whoa. You can decide if you want to do the same leaf on the other side, or maybe you want to start, we're going to start with a line going down, and then I'm going to draw another line to match it. So it's like um, a, the center of my leaf. And then on the sides, on the sides we're going to draw leaves coming out of that. So I'm going to draw a bunch of them. So I'm just making like a Hershey Kiss shape. And I'm going to make them small in the middle too. So it's going to cover the inside too. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Could you help me? Check it out and do this. So I'm just making like a, like I'll show you the shape up here. You just make. You guys are going too fast and still at the beginning. I'm showing you up here in the corner. So you just make. I'm too set. Like a the rainbow line. shape. Okay, well when I'm done, I can come around and help everyone. I'm trying to be way behind because I'm leaving. No, you'll be fine. I'm going to start with that side because it looks the easiest. Yeah, your leaves can look different than mine. So if you draw your leaf a different way, that's okay too. So we're all learning how to draw in different ways. Some of mine look a little bit too small, so I'm going to make them a little bigger. Whoa, I made a creative one. Good job. Look, I made a creative one. Good. Look, I like mine are all creative. Good. Wow. So in the middle, what do you think is going to go in the middle? What did we say we are going to draw? The tiger. The tiger. Mm, I'm still waiting on you. Could you help me before you do the tiger? I'm walking around after the video so that way I um, can help everyone after. So even if you just want to watch for now and then draw later, that's fine too. So I'm going to draw a triangle, an upside down triangle for the nose. So it's going to go in the middle of the two leaves. An upside down triangle. From the bottom of the triangle where the point is, I'm going to connect these two lines with like a half circle. So I'll show you what that's going to look like. So that's going to be the tiger's cheek. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm not done with my leaves. It's okay, just watch for now so that you know what to do when the time comes. Inside the cheek, he's actually going to have little circles. And what do you think these are for? The whiskers, good. So we're gonna draw some whisker circles. And even after, you can draw some whiskers coming out of them. 
So every tiger has some whiskers, just like a cat. It's just like a big cat. And a dog. It's and a dog. Yeah, I have a dog. And here I we have, go. I have two dogs and three dogs. But my dad's hot. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We always do one thing the same on the other, mm -hmm. so it's symmetrical. I'm going to draw my whiskers again. Uh -huh. There we go. It just has to be exactly the same because you can't No, you it never has sad. to be exactly the same. And then in the middle of my two cheeks, I'm going to draw a line that connects them like a smiley face. And this is going to be the tiger's mouth. And his mouth is going to be closed, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And in the nostril, I could actually draw that same shape on the sides. And that's going to be where he breathes. So this is going to be black eventually. And that's where his ear comes out. He breathes in and out. So why don't you guys just watch for now, and then after, you can follow along. Then we can watch the video. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So from the cheeks, I'm actually going to draw a line that curves up. This is going to be his nose. I just drew two lines going straight and curved them up. It's not going to be the same as yours. It's never going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. No, you're right. Everyone's is going to look special in their own way. Yeah, Very good. Good job. On each side of those two lines, we're going to draw two eyes. And the tiger's eyes are really pretty. They're like curved, like a teardrop. Have you guys ever heard of the show Aladdin? Did you guys ever see that? It's the movie. What's her tiger? What The movie. What's her tiger's name? Raja. Raja. So it's kind of like we're drawing Raja. Oh, we're drawing Raja. I don't know them. Because I never got it. That's why Santa gave it. Well, that's nice of Santa. And then in the middle of the eyes, it's more like another triangle. Ooh, he looks like he's looking at something. He looks mad. He does. And then I'm actually going to do a little bit of decoration around the eye. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Just to give it like a little bit of detail. Good job, Loretto. That's amazing. Good job. Hey, show, Loretto, show yours. I don't know. I like how these Hey, guys, I'm going to show you how to do the head now, the top of the head. And then we get to give them stripes, which is going to be fun. So from one leaf to the other, we're going to connect it for the head. So you're not going to see the whole entire tiger. It's going to be hidden behind the leaves. And then on top of the head, there's actually another triangle shape for the ears. So we can draw two ears. Oops, I have a leaf where the ear is supposed to be. So I'm going to erase that really quick. So that it doesn't look like he has a leaf in his ear. <laughs> He won't be able to hear if he has a leaf in his ear. Can that actually rhyme? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to draw the other ear. This one. And down the forehead area, actually tigers have stripes over there. So I'm going to draw some stripes to give him some detail. My tiger's face is very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It looks so good. It looks so bad. That's not nice. That looks like a kitty. Yeah. A cute, cute kitty. Mine looks small. And I'm going to give him some stripes on the side, too. Look at mine. Mine looks so big. It's not. He doesn't do it. And then on the neck, he's going to have stripes going down like a V. He looks like he's wearing a V neck from Target. Oh, yeah, from Jazz. This is how mine looks like. And all of this is going to be orange, so he can have stripes over here, too. This is all his body. Okay, now I'm ready to outline it. So everything you just did, you're going to outline with your black marker. Okay. You did amazing. 
moving. Good Can job. I... Let's outline it. So. Yours is done? Okay. okay. He's way, way ahead. I still have to leave the triangle. As soon as I'm done, I'll replay the video for you so that you guys can see the steps and draw it at the same time. It's 10 minutes and 26 seconds. I know, it's always so long when we draw here. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's weird. So actually, the stripes that you guys made, you can color those in with the black marker. So those can be solid. And the nose, the nostril part can be solid too. Any questions while I'm outlining that I can answer for you guys? Um, could you help me? Yes, that is a hey, definite hey, yes. Um, Luana, could you show me yours again? It's so pretty. Wow, yeah, yeah, good job, Loretto. Wow. Oh, Yay. Yay. Very, 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 very creative. creative. Very creative. Mine was super. He's a good oh, oh, Good job, Max. I love when you guys follow along. It's because you guys are so good at art. No, it's just that because I have a lot. Yeah, you're so good at it. Yes, it can go off the page and it can overlap your tiger. So the stripes don't have to be straight. They can have a little curve to them, too. Hey, hey, how about we all in the count of three say one? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's people next door learning, so we can't be too loud. Why? Yeah, because then we, can we can do a quiet like roar. Some people are like, like a whisper. One, three, two, one. Whoa. Good job. That was, that was like a good Thank you for being quiet when you did it. <laughs> what? It's not a dragon. What do you guys think we're gonna color these in with? Orange, orange. What kind of? What, and pink, and pink, what and kind green. of? What kind of uh, pink. material? Pink. Um, marker. Not pink. marker. Pink. 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 Oil pastel. So we're going to try to copy the oil pastel look. And we're going to use that blending technique that you guys have learned. Before I end the video, do you guys have any more questions? Um, could you help me? Yes, I, I said yes to that question. <laughs> Alright, then I'm going to end the video. You guys are going to outline everything in black. And then I will walk around and help you guys as we go.